Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I will show you how you can install Python in Eclipse. In order to do that, I set it up topics this way. You need to have three prerequisites for Python install in Eclipse. First thing, you need to have installed JDK on your system. Then you need to have Eclipse install on your system. Basically, Eclipse is not installed. After downloading, you need to extract Eclipse. Thereafter, you need to install Python on your system so that once these three things is ready, then you can install Python in Eclipse. So I have installed all these three prerequisites. Now open Eclipse. Here is my Eclipse. First, we need to check uh, Python is here or not. Let me go to the file, new, other. If you see over here, there is no Python. That means PyDev is not in here. We need to cancel up over here. There is two way you can install Python in Eclipse. First, you need to go to help tab. Then here is two option. Install new software, Eclipse Marketplace. If you go to install new software, you need to provide the URL over here. Then you need to go follow the process next. Then it can be installed. I'm not going this way because you need to collect the URL. Then you will, will go step by step. I am avoiding this part. Cancel over here. Now go again help tab, then Eclipse Marketplace. Once you are in here, you need to type PyDev, P-Y-D-E-V, then hit enter. It will search the PyDev software and it will give you the installation option. Here is a PyDev Python IDE for Eclipse 12.1.0 and here is the install option. Click install button. It will start installing. It will take little time. There is no license um, for review. So click finish. Once you will click finish, it will start installing. Click finish. You see over here in installing software 16%, 17%. It will very quick. It will install software within the Eclipse. So it is done. Once it is done, restart Eclipse IDE to apply the software update this is the way software goes so click restart now eclipse ide will restart it will take little time but not that much please wait little bit eclipse will open then you can you will be able to create the python project then python module and you can start writing your code so it's the same thing now if you go file new go to other you see PyDev is over here now. It is showing. In before, before installing, there is no PyDev. Now is PyDev. First, we need to create a PyDev project. Select the PyDev project. Click Next. Here, you need to specify all the thing. First thing is the project name. So, project name Python Tutorial. Then, you need to grammar version, same as interpreter. You need to go to the drop down. You need to whatever the available option. Our Python version is 3.12. Select over here. Then interpreter. You need to select from here. You need to uh, click here to configure interpreter not listed. So if you if it is listed over here, Python or default currently Python, you can go there. Also, if it is not, you need to select over here, click over here, and you need to click interpreter preference space. Then you will come up over here. Then you need to select apply and apply and close. It is already there. So I am not doing anything. Click cancel. So it is currently Python. Then click finish. Open. Uh, we are not doing this one. Click no. Here is our Python project created. Once Python project is created, then right click in the Python project, then click new, other. Now we need to do the Python module. Python module, it is basically like a Java class where you need to write your code. Python module, then click next. Now it is asking package. So package, let's say py tutorial and module name is hello world so once it is done 
those name basically it will totally depends on project you are working on then click finish you see the template empty it is okay then hit okay here you can write your code python code hello world dot pi python module with extension is dot py here you can write print python once it is like a um, when you will print something use the print function it it will accept double quotation and single quotation both so hello python it is with double quotation so once your code writing is finished you don't need to write the semicolon or colon like java use the semicolon so we'll do the single quotation again print print single quotation hello python world so it is with the single quotation so once your code writing is done you need to save it once it is saved then go right click run as python run click over here both are printed hello python it is printed from the first option second option hello python word that means it takes single quotation and double quotation both that means our python installed successfully in eclipse that's all for today's tutorial those who are new in installing python in eclipse this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video